Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. So today we are going to talk about one more uh, Abinishio issue, uh, Abinishio question actually. So uh, interviewer may ask like uh, we have a flat file, uh, we have a report let's say in the CSV format or it is in flat format or any other format and uh, we are going to produce and you are required to produce a header body and trailer kind of uh, you know report so there should be header then there should be a body record and trailer so why we require header body and trailer uh, you know kind of uh, report is because uh, so there are metadata hidden into the uh, metadata there in the head, uh, header which uh, you know talks about what is there in the data records basically uh, if you talk about a simple header files it could contain the number of records total number of records in the data right or let's say simple uh, you know send revenue for file for uh, this month or whatever and the, similarly the trailer also have some uh, important information with respect to the complete file you know the number of transaction or uh, what is the date of the transaction or what is the total amount or what is the you know some kind of summaries information of the data so therefore we are required to produce the header body and trailer kind of data. So for this, this is not a single header body and trailer uh, file. It is in multiple, uh, you know, there is an header, then, then uh, there are, you know, following body record with respect to that header and then trailer record of, you know, while summarizing the total report. And then there is an, another header record for another customer, let's say, and then there are body record for that customer and then following the trail record for that customer and so on so if you look at this uh, this data right this is comma delimited data and uh, if you look at the data in the format of excel so this is the raw data or uh, the input data as per se which uh, you know we are going to uh, take as an input so this is the you know transaction id and the customer name and transaction date product name and the quantity of that, that product and you know transaction amount that has been done for that you know for that transaction okay so this receive uh, under this transaction it has purchased macbook as one piece okay and receive again under this same this is checkout number basically for e-commerce e transaction basically so iphone you purchase two iphone uh, under total amount as let's say 230 i did not specify currency so uh, there could be you know any anything of 230 or 245 it's a symbolic you know number okay and then again there is an uh, another transaction which are uh, you know uh, are done by leads okay and the data is inspired by you know current uh, events in the world therefore i have taken these names okay so receive Liz and uh, johnson and then receive okay these are the transaction so this uh, repetitive data right for Liz on 23rd october this it so she has uh, purchased let's say sb two two number of quantities and transaction amount is this one under this uh, 898 as a checkout number okay therefore so if you look at the different number of transactions, different number of checkout numbers, so how many checkout number we have? 87, 80, 90, 97, 98, 99, and 00, right? 900. So we have four different, you know, four different transaction ID customer name combination. Uh, transaction done on different date, okay? and we have a total number of eight records so out of those eight records we are going to produce the header body and trailer record you know four set of records one set of record for rec at 897 one set of record for liz 898 one set of record for johnson 899 and one another set of record for rec under the 900 as a transaction id so HBT, 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 is going, this is going to be my ultimate output basically. So this is going to be my intermediate output, this one, the colored format, okay. And this is going to be my ultimate output out of this. We are going to create one graph and one by one we are, you know, stepwise we are going to solve it. We are approaching it so that it doesn't look difficult basically. 
so what we have to produce is so first of all we are going to create a dml which contains everything you know so first we are going to decide basically what we can you know place in the body what we can place in the header what we place in the trailer data or body what is body or you know under the name we can say data so in header what we are going to place is a transaction id what is the name of the customer for that transaction and also how many number of items let's say we are going to keep you know so there will be only three fields in header which will talk about the under which transactions all my you know following data record would be there and who is the customer or who is the you know yeah who is the customer and how many you know number of uh, data records going to be there after this header record okay and the data record simply whichever is re getting repeated right product name is getting repeat uh, you know dif different product name under this that transaction id and then quantity of that uh, product and then the transaction amount done under uh, that product purchase okay and then the trailer trailer record would contain the total number of items as again so i'm going to keep a uh, total number of item in both the you know header and trailer uh, you can uh, skip it if you don't want normally we don't do actually we just keep the total cost incurred in all those data data transaction and what is the transaction date okay sometimes or sometimes we keep the total number of items as well okay so it depends upon so for time being we are going to keep both you know total number of item in uh, how many total let's say total number of items in header and trailer both so we have decided what are going to be my fields in different uh, you know header body and trailer uh, uh, trailer things okay so so in addition to that how to distribute the header body and trailer those fields we have going to additionally we are going to produce as part of the processing so what are the addition how to distinguish we can say type you know while looking at the type we can decide if it is an header or body or trailer okay and the ordering so don't uh, think about much about this ordering columns we will talk about it later okay so you just assume that we are going to produce one more column ordering and also all the columns which we are going to see in header body and trailer combined so there will be a these many number of columns we are going to produce as part of our processing and then after producing all the columns okay then we will see how our data looks like and then we are going to produce the more refined visual format of the output so let's go to the here so first of all we are going to keep all these columns you know all the total columns you know in addition to all the required header body trailer columns combined plus ordering column and plus type column to distinguish which one is what okay so uh, now look at the graph which we are going to design for this so this is my graph okay let's uh, i'll just zoom out a little zoom in okay so this graph is going to be you know we need to create this graph so while looking at the data right so while looking at the columns actually so we have you know total items total cost so looks like there are columns which are you know which are you know summarized out of these data records we have you know transaction id we have already there customer name we have transaction date we have product name quantity and transaction amount these are all, all columns we have already and this all this column i can you know derive i will i will decide i mean what is what okay and then this also i can decide we'll talk about later type and ordering column but these all columns we have already in the input but and also we have total cost and total items so how to produce these columns out of these data records we will have to summarize the data means we have to roll up the data okay so one flow will roll up the data if you look at here it is an input data okay folat file or csv file or whatever input data we are going to receive as part of this 
uh, you know problem then we will pro going to produce two flow one will give me the summarized data therein i will receive these two columns and another flow i would receive it as an as it is you know which will give me the all the data record these kind of columns okay i will have these kind of columns over here as well but uh, you know all the data records per se i will have all the data records in the upper flow and all the others uh, to summarize you know i need to produce th these two columns right therefore i need to have one more flow so that i can roll up the data and produce total number of total number of items purchased by that particular uh, you know customer id and uh, customer name and the total number of uh, the total uh, transaction amount only okay so after rolling up i will have those those details for customer and for customer name and for the for the customer name and for the transaction id right so uh, after that because i need total items and total cost in trailer also and the header also in header i need only the total items in trailer i need total items and total cost okay here so i have kept the reformat with the two ports okay count as two and i will have two transform and uh, okay and uh, so okay the summarized output i will you know take it as an output of this reformat so now the output format of reformat and out all these two three ports actually this one this one and this one right output format of these all these two reformat would be having all these columns okay simple dml will be there all the null level all the columns would be null or of decimal or string type so simple you know dml would contain all the columns basically in the output word of reformat and output out of this reformat as well and assignment within this reformat and these two transform would be as follows like for data record my type would be h and ordering would be 1 and for the body over here body over here my uh, sorry for the data record or body record my type would be b and ordering would be 2 and all the assignment would be done apart from this total items and total cost total cost and total item would be null okay for this data record everything else will be assigned or whatever columns you are going to place so we have decided right which columns so these columns i am going to place in place in the data and this yellow background column will be there in the header this green background column will be there in the trailer so all those columns which are there in the yellow background would be assigned in my header transform here in the second uh, uh, second uh, uh, transform of this below reformat and all the fields under the data would be assigned over here rest would be null and type would be you know b and ordering will be 2 type would be h here in header and ordering will be 1 type would be 3 type would be t and ordering will be 3 over here okay so likewise i am going to assign so after this after this reformat my data would look like this there will be 16 records eight records because all the these eight records orange colored you know data record and extra four record of what extra four record would be extra eight record one header per per combination and one trailer per combination so eight plus eight 16 record would be created so after this processing before merge i will have 16 records containing these kind of things okay so whichever column doesn't belong to that particular type will be null okay product name is here null transaction amount is here null because it is an head record and uh, uh, transaction date is null because it is an body record i don't i don't want to keep the transaction date under uh, you know body record therefore similarly for the trailer record right now now 
I am going to, you know, uh, this we have produced it. We can use in uh, whatever we want, whatever whichever we way we want. You know, this report we can use. But I want to visualize it in a somewhat better way. Therefore, I am going to merge this data and I am going to reformat this data in a better way so that while looking at the data, I don't have to, you know, it should not be confusing. Okay. So for that, I need to merge it. Why I uh, now now I need to merge on some key, right? So why I am merging it? Because I sh it should not be jumbled, right? For this particular transaction and this customer, my header body, my header will be placed first, and then following body record for this customer and this one. And all, and then the trailer record. My board header body and trailer record for the respective transaction ID and customer ID should be placed at the same place. It should not be like you know header and then body of some other you know transaction ID and customer name and something like that. Okay, and also the ordering should be maintained. Header should be first, and then only the body. It should not be like as header and trailer and body. So it should be header, body, and trailer. This kind of should to to maintain that that you know the sequence i have to merge the data and so the merging could be could would be the customer the transaction id and the ordering so why are ordering sbt is you know alphabetic ordering because b appears first you know therefore i had to use 1 2 and 3 it's an it's an uh, you know decimal numeric sequence actually 1 2 3 but alphabetical sequence i'm i'm not able to achieve using sbt if I use the H, uh, after that there will be I or something T, then I could achieve. But therefore, I use the ordering basically. Otherwise, I would not have used the ordering. I would have used the you know alpha value, alpha numeric value, because uh, Abinisho doesn't uh, you know Abinisho if, if if it is a you know header, if I would have you know body first and then header and trailer, then it is okay. I mean. I, I I did not require this, but I want to use header first, then body and trail. Therefore, I use the ordering one, two, three. So it should be in sequence basically. Okay. Therefore, merge can understand it. It is in a order orderly manner, right? So therefore, I have used the ordering column to uh, to simulate it with the proper number actually, proper you know sorted number. Now it is in reformat. So in reformat, I have to produce, uh, I need to have one more thing basically. So let's go to this notepad. So I need to see it is in a proper uh, visual, uh, proper uh, way actually. So therefore, I don't want to see this null and all. So, okay. and it doesn't appear good, right? By looking at this kind of data. So I need to, I have a conditional DML so that for header, only header fields would be appearing. For body only the body food body fields would be appearing and the for trailer only the trailer food should be appearing so therefore i need to use the conditional dml so i have produced the conditional dml so conditional dml there will be a type column which signifies you know header body and trailer and then following by the respective number of fields right as part of let's say vector header record body record and trailer record so if it is an h so my header if it is in a B, then body rack, and if it is in tra T, then trailer rack. Okay. So what you can do is you have to define these uh, these uh, you know type in some other uh, DML, let's say. So I have defined one more DML, which is uh, you know header contains all these three columns, and then data could is containing all these three columns, different columns, and trailer is containing other different columns. Okay. Now, so. Uh, so I am using this DML, right? This DML. So you can include this DML over here, and you can, you know, create the metadata. So this is going to be uh, be your out uh, reformat of the. I mean the record format of the reformat. This one output format, right? And you can assignment you can do in the reformat. So in this uh, transform, you can assign those columns. So depending upon the respective header body and trailer, you can assign those vector over here. And the out whenever you see the output, you will see the output in better way. So this is going to be my ultimate output after you know reformat is applied after you know collecting the data into the respective vectors. So you will see the type, and after that you will see the 
if it is an header you will see the vector here if when you expand it you, you will contain this data two columns and the body rack and trail rack would be null there won't be any thing over here because it is an header and if you if you go to the body secondary code body there will be a no header there will be a body rack body rack vector and if you expand it you will see the two two okay two records for the recn 897 okay i mean for this header there will be a two body record if you expand it then there will be a trailer so trailer would contain you know a trailer wake would contain the, this one these three fields you know transaction date and total number of items and the total cost so for, uh, this is for the first uh, customer and then similarly for lease and you know and then for johnson and then for again for the receipt for different transaction id right so in in this respect i will have 12 record for each combination one header one body and one trailer right so this is how we approach it actually so we approach with this uh, with the sim uh, simple way we produce the you know all those columns and then we try to you know merge it basically to produce a finer and better visualized report okay so with that thank you so much please subscribe my channel and please share it with others thank you so much